Hi everyone, today we're gonna be doing a remix for Magic Island TXT. If you don't wanna see the process, you can go ahead and click on the link for a final version. Uh, you can also check out the uh, cover version of the song by uh, J Music and also the original song on the description. So, hope you guys like it. And don't forget to comment once you check them out and you can come back and comment it here over there. It doesn't really matter, I'll check everywhere. So, before we start, let me tell you what happened, uh, how I ended up doing this remix. is uh, I was basically scrolling around um, YouTube and came across J Music with this uh, title. Um, and let me show it to you. From the first time I listened to the song, I was like, this is such a beautiful cover. Uh, I did not know what the original song was or how it sounded or... Um, so I, I couldn't compare, but then I went in and listened to the original one and come back and I was like, I like this one better. It's just my personal opinion. I contacted them uh, and I asked if I can have their vocal track and uh, they were very kind and very um, responsive when they come back to me and within, I think, 10 hours, I already had their vocals. It's usually not that hard to make a remix for a song if you have a good vocal track. And this, this was one of the cases. Once I got the vocals, I started working on it. Uh, usually what I do is I figure out what's the tempo they recorded in. You see that click sound at the background? That really helped to figure the tempo, which was uh, 105. And then what I did was I started looking samples for 105 I, I found really quickly that most of the samples are not powerful I don't know just 105 doesn't sound that good with the loops I increased the speed for 115 and that sounded uh, quite a bit different I started with giving an effect so, as you can see, there is a um, couple of stuff going on in the vocals. Our vocals, this is usually helps to uh, kind of compress the vocals to, to make sure that the lowest point is high enough so everything is in a way in the level, but I don't like to do it too, too harsh because that way it's just going to uh, become very loud vocals. Right now, it's little, it has a somewhat dynamics, but uh, I would say better than without it. The next thing I have is uh, reverb. I use Alt Reverb 7. Usually, I just select uh, presets, and when you select it, it kind of gives you so many uh, different options for the environment you want it's, the vocals to be in. I click on Opera House, and once you click on it, you just have to adjust the mix, uh, and that's it. And of course, you can play around with the other aspects but honestly I, I don't touch that much I just do the mix part and the vocals already sound so much better in my opinion some people love different types of reverbs but I like this one and the lastly I have ozone I like to use imager uh, on the ozone mainly because uh, it makes it spread stereo left right and kind of gives you a little bit of this softness I don't know it's it, it helps you to, usually you can notice this clearly if you have headphones. If you don't have a headphones, speakers don't give you that much of a feel. You cannot that feel that much, but trust me, if you have headphones, you will notice the difference. So, and... There is a difference. What I do here, I usually click on learn and it right away figures out where highs, lows, and all, all the stuff. The same for dynamics, and just check it out where it's what, uh, which parts I want to uh, hear more. For example, I can play with it, I can minimize it, and work with the attacks and all the stuff. I don't do that, that much. Uh, I don't touch it as much. Uh, there's things that I rely on, this because this is the main purpose of this video is to show you how quickly you can just uh, get over with your project 
uh, versus sitting down and doing mixing and mastering for many many hours i have a friend who uh who does this for a living and he spends like 24 hours on one song and final version always amazes me because i i always have an original one that i have and then the one that he sends me mind-blowing huge difference because he sits down he works in every single details for a mix and mastering and that makes a big deal but this is this is more of like a quickly getting over with and making something sound better than what it was so that's all of what it is you know it's not perfect but it does the job let's go to the track so we start with this very simple sample kind of gives you this a little bit I like this a little bit echoey feeling and then uh, I was like okay so this is would be really nice for the vocals beautiful so and then I was like okay let's add a little bit of a bass for the for the first kick kind of and we add a little bit of this so then I was like we need some sort of introduction to this portion of the song. So I just found this sample, very simple. Crash kind of idea. Next, um, I wanted to give a snare, but a little bit more of, um, uh, I don't know, they call it dirty snare, because it kind of has some sort of uh, um, effect afterwards, something like this. It turned out to be this. It felt like really empty. So this part specifically. And then I was like, let me add effect. And uh, the difference on this effect is I have um, uh, I have after tune giving it a little bit of a uh, throat so you just basically simply enable throat a little bit kind of makes it um, I don't know like bassy uh, robotic can I say just listen to oh my God. Oh my God. I like the effect I just it's my pre preference next um, we have a delay just because I wanted to repeat when it goes to the second part. So there you go, the delay I usually have very simple setup, nothing crazy. Some people think it's too much for the, to give it this much delay, but I like it. It's my preferences, so yep. Next. Na -na -na, na -na -na -na. So in this part, I wanted to introduce some sort of uh, rhythm, a little bit stronger, uh, but not fully, I would, not, I would say not full rhythm, just uh, something that would carry the vocals uh, to the chorus. So I added um, snare, kick, I use this one, yeah, and figured using the effect would be nice too, so I put the effect in place to introduce the new rhythm and this is what it turned out to be and if you notice here right here it says it's like you can feel that you're waiting for something which is not there so i found another sample which was uh, kind of cool. So and then when you put them together, very nice. Um, and on an original cover of the song. Stop. 
they have some sort of stop stopping the music kind of they they're creating the song and then for the chorus they're giving out a little bit more sound and a little bit of more uh power i would say um in my case i didn't want to stop until the very last moment this part so what i did was i found a break we call it break i don't know everyone has their own way of saying that uh this one And with that, it basically goes to the rhythm, kind of a disco rhythm, I would say, so that people can start moving and singing. With that in mind, when it comes to a part, this is how it sounds. the chorus I wanted to keep the vocals to be a uh, main thing uh, because I, I really like the vocals that's that was the whole purpose of this remix to bring up the vocals as much as possible so I there's not much going on in terms of the samples so I have a kind of a pad and then I have a bass for it and next <laughs> I just added the kick so it turned out to be this Of course, I introduced the clap for the second portion of the chorus, just to keep things a little bit interesting and growing. At the very end, um, they had the moment where they just uh, singing, uh, basic, basically. That's that was the ending for the cover. So what I did was um, I kind of dried out the music to basic elements like a rhythm and just add the bass and put the effect uh, vocal effect that I used earlier just to kind of wrap up and it put the break in between them so it would cross nicely <laughs> That was it. Um, this was basically the process. It, this is, took me uh, two and a half hours around that uh, to fully get it done and send it to them. They listened to it. They were like, it was cool. And um, now I am working, as you can tell, on putting things together to upload it on YouTube. So once I'm done with this, I, I, I'll work on a visualizer. And if you guys want to watch it you can go ahead and click on the link below as i mentioned earlier at the beginning and leave your comments below let me know what you want to hear if you want at tracks all of these tracks i'm more than happy to give it to you uh just let me know uh, and i'll upload them to i don't know through dropbox or somewhere so you guys can download it uh i'll upload instrumental right away um Usually I like to see if someone needs the tracks before I do it because it's quite a bit of work to export out each track. But I'm more than happy to do it. I just need to know if someone needs it or not. Well, with that being said, don't forget to check out J Music. They are amazing, talented uh, musicians, singers. Um, I feel like they they deserve more likes and more subscribers for their talent and uh, if you like what you see on my channel don't forget to subscribe as well we'll see you next time you have a nice day